Hey, sweetie gang, what is up, you guys? The sun is not doing me justice for whatever reason today. Uh, it is like beaming right in my face, in my normal filming spot. However, guys, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure that you get your wine glasses because every single one of my talking videos, we get a glass of wine. And yeah, let's just get into the video. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, make sure that you guys go hit the subscribe button and be a part of the Sweeney gang today. And follow me on all my socials. They will be linked in the bottom bar below. So let's get into the video. This story time just happened yesterday. So yesterday I actually got in town after being flown out to a certain city by a rapper. Okay, so long story short, me and this guy, who we'll call Miles, that's a good name. This guy, um, we kind of have like a like a history kind of, I don't know what we are, what we were. However, the dude was my first love, so I mean, I guess that puts like a, a stay in things. So he was like, oh, um, I kind of want to see you, blah, 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 I'm going to fly you out to his city. And his city is the type of city that's like kind of like... It's almost like New York. Like, you really want to go there. You really want to have a great time. And for me, personally, I've been working so hard on my business that it's like I really did want a trip. So, I was like, this is a free trip, first of all. Like, he's going to fly me out. Like, I'm excited for this. Blah, blah, blah. So, the first issue, well, actually, this is like the fourth issue, but that's for another. Like, I'm not going to get into that. Um, the fourth issue, he basically was... I don't know there was like a complication between me not wanting to spend money which i shouldn't have to spend any money because one i wasn't checking for you i wasn't asking to see you um i was just kind of like doing like my own thing you know what i mean so i wasn't asking to see this person i wasn't being like fly me out like or come here like no like none of that like i was worried about something completely different you know what i mean so it had taken me off guard when he had texted me just like he had randomly texted me saying, hey, um, and I was like, hi, like I was in the middle of a wonderful meditation, right? So I really wasn't even going to text back. And this dude was just like, oh, okay, so um, what are you doing this weekend? Like, do you want to come to it to, do you want to come to my city? And I was like, hell yeah, like, yes, I want to go. Like, are you going to find me out? He was like, yeah. So long story short i ended up paying the plane ticket was like 400 dollars, and he wanted me to go half with him and i was like absolutely not so then he was just like oh, okay well i was like look the most i can spend is like 100 that's all i'm spending i mean obviously like that's not the most i can spend but as a business owner i'm not trying to like you know just be like i'm ready to see this dude and especially not someone that like i'm not checking for like i'm not like press on seeing this person you know what I mean also I forgot to add when I was editing that um you know I feel like the my so my ex had offered me to go to uh offered to fly me out to California with him and he made a comment saying like you know like why would you ever pay for like your own flight like I invited you to come to California that's the energy that I'm, you know, trained to have. Like, that's, that's like, the correct energy in my book. So, you invited me, and I'm just taking up on your offer. Like, what, what, what the hell? So, I ended up, I know, I know, sis, like a dumbass. I ended up paying $100 to go on the flight, and, but he took care of, like, the rest, right? So, because, like, we had, like, a history and, like, a past together, um, it, really didn't like phase me you know what i mean but if it was anybody else and they were like can you you know whether it's paying like 20 cents i don't care i'm not doing it period i didn't ask to come i don't not saying i didn't want to come but like it was not my mind like i wasn't thinking i want to come to the city no i ended up getting flown out he ends up buying the city when i see him like things are like you know like i was like ooh, like okay like um you know, I was kind of excited to see him. However, he, when he picked me up from the airport, he had his friend, right, that was in the back seat of his car. And I thought that was kind of weird because I was just like, you know, if you're flying me out and if this weekend's supposed to be like a you and me type of weekend, who's he? You know what I mean? Like, I I'm confused. So that's like me if 
I flew you out, which I didn't. Um, if I flew you out and I picked you up, I'm not going to have my girls in the back seat on a weekend that's meant for you. That I'm just not going to. Okay. There was his friend, and we'll call his friend Joe. So Joe was in the back seat, and I was just like, oh, hi. Like, this is awkward. And they were like, okay, well, we're going to go to, like, a video shoot. So we ended up going to, like, some video shoot with, like, more friends or whatever. And honestly, like, I wasn't tripping. Like, I was like, this is cool like i get to be like behind the scenes of like rapper like videos and things like that and i was like this is pretty cool so then we ended up going back to his apartment and for some reason joe just kept hanging around i like joe don't get me wrong but joe needs to know you know this is a me and him trip why are you here <laughs> you know what i mean like i'm confused so me and um, Miles end up going out to dinner without Joe, which was, you know, I was shocked. And um, yeah, we ended up having like a good dinner. It was really breakfast, but like during dinner times, we ended up having like a great night. Everything was really good, like the first day, you know what I mean? Like everything was cool. Like then the next day, the next morning, this is when all hell broke loose and we got ready like we were gonna have like a good day um the energy was like you know like high but you know what was crazy was that i had a bad feeling about this trip even before even going and i always should probably just listen to my intuition because even my friend like my friend obama was like damn bitch you even said like you before you went on this trip you were like i, I don't know why i just feel like i don't know if i should go and now it explains why so Long story short, the next day, he was like, okay, well, we're gonna go grocery shopping because later tonight we're gonna cook lobster tails, right? Anyone were to know me, I love seafood, right? And if I don't get my seafood, man, I'm just gonna be even more mad because isn't seafood like an aphrodisiac? Is that the right word? Like, I, I, in my head, I already knew what was going to happen. I was like, we're gonna have a fantastic day. We're gonna eat seafood. We're probably gonna do like a video shoot afterwards. I'm gonna shoot my Ace of Fair Rose line, blah, blah, blah. And then that seafood's gonna kick in. And tonight, like, oh my gosh, like fireworks late at night. It didn't happen. So I was like, you know, press. We ended up going to the grocery store and this dude was like pushing a cart and I made a comment and I was like, like, I was like, oh my God, you look like somebody's dad. Mind you, my energy is not like, like I felt, I don't know why I was feeling shy around him. Like I was not feeling how I normally feel around this dude. Like I was feeling shy. I was feeling like it, I was with someone that like, I really like didn't know. I don't know why I felt like that. I just did. Like my, my personality is not, I'm not a shy person, but with him and his friends, I was feeling like I was really shy. Like I was on my phone a lot. And yeah, so I'm at the grocery store and I make the comment and I say, um, yeah, you look like somebody's dad. And he was like, I am someone's dad. I was like, okay. So like, I'm over here thinking like he's playing around, like, because mind you, I've had history with this dude for like three years. I'm so mad. Y'all, honestly, I really, I've never felt so like numb to a situation where I just don't care. But like when I talk about it, like in a YouTube video, for example, like I just kind of feel like so like, ugh. I went from loving the hell out of this person, like everything that they would do, I would like be like, oh my gosh about, you know what I mean? And then like, like no one else compared to them. Like it didn't matter how many like if guys tried talking to me and they were like the finest dude in town, fudge no. Like honestly, like all eyes, my eyes were strictly on him. I don't know what he did to me. But it's so weird that someone can go from, like, being here to now I see him as, like, I really don't like this person. Like, I was already losing feelings for this person. And so when he flew me out, I was just excited to go. Like, it wasn't like I was like, oh my gosh, like, I need to see this person. No. But it's just, like, now after this whole situation, I can't stand. Like, you just keep, keep, keep doing like the lowest shit and it's like i don't f with you i don't like you like i don't hate nobody because hate's such a strong word but you're up there like honestly how do you go from loving someone to almost hating a person that is i don't know 
mind you so i'm over here telling him like oh like you don't have a kid bro like whatever you know what i mean because he would always talk about having a kid with me so i was just like he was like no i do i'm serious so he started telling his friend and, and he's like ask ask um joe and so i asked joe and i'm like joe does he really have a kid and joe was like no and then looks at um miles and is like oh yeah, yeah yeah he does have a kid he does have a kid so now i know they're playing you know what i mean so i'm like oh my gosh like whatever i was like you know what fine then i have a kid and this kept going like back and forth like you don't have a kid you do have a kid you don't have a kid blah blah, blah. i was like you don't have a kid bro and he goes all right like believe what you want i was like put it like swear swear on your life and he was like he wouldn't do it so i was like man he's playing so then joe pulls me aside like when we leave the grocery store and like miles is putting the groceries in like the trunk of his car joe gets in the car with me and he's like you know he doesn't have a kid right he's just playing with you like he's just trying to mess with you i was like oh my god like i i knew it but thanks for telling me that so then i was really like this dude here is really trying to like joke with me so i was just like all right cool i was like well i need to check on my baby like i'm pretending like i have a kid too you know what i mean and he was just like don't play don't play but he was like so like laughing about it you know what i mean so i'm over here thinking like okay now i'm actually getting out of like that shy stage that i was in for whatever reason and i'm like kind of like opening up to him feeling more comfortable with him so i was like oh, i'm gonna get i'm gonna get this dude back like thinking it's like you know like he's joking just as much as i am and so we ended up going to another grocery store because i don't know why we just ended up going to another grocery store and I think we we're gonna go pick up like the lobster tail or whatever so i started texting like you know like my friend i text my cousin like the people that i knew that had like a deep voice um and i was just like hey like pretend to be my baby daddy and uh miles walks up to me and tries to like check on my phone and i'm like no like uh. and he was like like we were just like joking with each other like it was like no bad energy like no like no seriousness you know what i mean at least i thought so I had texted one of my friends and I was just like, hey, pretend, um, pretend like you're going to be with like my baby daddy. Call me at exactly 220 because I knew like by the time like we were already like, you know, like at checkout, I was like, we're going to be all back in the car at 220. So the timing was perfect. And I get in the car and my phone rings and I was like, oh, and I was the one driving, right? So it was, I was driving, um, Miles was in the passenger seat and of course his friend Joe was in the back seat. So I answer the phone, I put it on speaker, friend slash cousin. So he was just like, um, I was like, hey, I was like, how's, and I just made up a name off the top of my head. I was like, how's um, Alex doing, like my kid? And she, the guy, like, oh my gosh. So he goes, like the guy I had on the phone was like, oh, she's good. Like she's with my mom right now. And I'm like laughing because I told him to go with what I, whatever I was saying. And he did a really good job. And so Joe's in the backseat cracking up, and I'm trying to, like, not laugh at all. And I noticed that Miles is kind of like, you got me messed up. You you are really trying me. You were really trying me. So I'm over here like, <laughs> like, oh, my God. So I was like, okay, well, I'll call you back, blah, blah, blah. Click, and I hang up, and I look at Miles, and I'm like, like, gotcha, bitch. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it was a joke, dude. So then Miles took it from zero to 100. Like, he was like, I wasn't joking about, like, the kid. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, you know, I'm in a, like, more fun state of mind. Like, I got out of, like, that, you know, shy stage. Why I was in that, I don't know. I just, I don't know. And so I was just like, bro, it was a joke. And, like, his friends over here, like, dude, chill. It was, like, it was a joke. It was, she's savage. Like, that shit was funny. And he was like, it wasn't funny. So he starts getting mad at his friend, like, for laughing. And then he takes it way, 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 way too serious. And I, like, it was almost like I kept trying to, like, laugh it off. Like, okay, it was a joke. But he was not taking it as a joke. And so then it just started making me feel uncomfortable again. So then I got quiet again and just stayed on my phone. And, yeah, so at that point, he just wasn't, like, trying to, like, talk to me. And I'm in the room, like, with him and his friend. And he's, like, ignoring me. And I'm just like... At this point, I'm like, why did I come? Like, if it's going to be like this, like, bro, there was no intention from me. I don't know why, like, you're taking it to, like, the next level. But honestly, like, that shit's just not, like, cool, you know what I mean? So I was just like, whatever. And now, like, imagine, like, feeling awkward. Like, you're with, like, you're in a place where you don't know. Like, I don't know people in this city, blah, blah, blah. So I'm sitting there on my phone, and I'm like, at this point, it got so bad 
that it was just like so awkward because he started making like when we were in the car he was making comments on like nah she tried me she really tried me with that i was like it was a joke he was like no i'm looking at plane tickets to to um for you to leave today i was like like okay me and in front of his friend too in front of his friend and i'm over here like thinking okay maybe he's just like joking whatever whatever so then he was like okay well um i'm probably gonna have to go to the bank because i'm gonna have to go to the bank and put money i'm gonna have to put i'm gonna have to put money in the bank so i can go ahead and book her ticket so now i'm like what the hell like you first of all no one is gonna make me ever feel like i'm not gonna allow someone to fly me out and then it's gonna be a situation where i'm just some kind of like hoe or something like that to you where it's like okay you gotta go Bitch, I'm not a dog, first of all. I'm not a fucking dog, so you're not going to treat me like, oh, okay, she pissed me off, she got to go. It was a joke, first of all. Like, and you're not going to do that in front of your friend. I don't know what you can do to your other city girls or whatever like that, but I'm not one of them. Don't, don't treat me like that, you know what I mean? So at that point, I was just like, all right, like, I'm trying to be, like, cool about it because I'm like, maybe he's joking, maybe not. And then when I realized he really wasn't was when we were back at the apartment and I had suggested that we go to, like, a place, only me and Miles to go to a place. And so Miles finally talks to me after, like, freaking 30 minutes or whatever of not speaking to me and goes, did you still want to go to your place? So I was like, okay, thank God, like, he's over it. So I was like, yeah. And he sends Joe to take me to the place. I didn't come to this city to be chauffeured by your friends and not even like be with you. If that was the case, I would have stayed home and kept minding my business like I've been doing the past like how long? You know what I mean? Like I would have never wasted my time to like come to this city just to be treated the way that I'm being treated. Like no. So I was just like, so I ended up telling Joe, I was like to be honest, like I really don't want to go. Like I'm okay. Like. I will maybe I will make another trip or like maybe we'll be cool tomorrow. I don't know. And like Joe had to have to go to the um the like the convenience store or whatever. So I did hop in the car with him, but I that and that's when I told him that I didn't want to go to like the place that I wanted to go to. And he was like, honestly, like he's just like tripping out right now, but he'll be cool like when we go back. Like he was really trying to be the mediator and whatever. He was like, You didn't do anything, like it was a joke and like he got mad at me for laughing, like it's not gonna be like a big deal. So I was like, Okay, cool. We get back to the apartment, he was still made it a big deal. Now it's like hella awkward. So I tried like, you know, not making it awkward because now I feel like I'm the person that is making them feel out of place. And that's not a good feeling at all. Like when you make someone like, one, I can't leave. Like my flight doesn't leave until Monday and it's Saturday. Um, I don't know anyone. I can't just go into your room and close the door and like be by myself. No, I, I can't do that. <laughs> You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, I felt like my presence was making them like awkward and it made the whole room awkward. And I didn't want to, I don't want to be in that position. That's a, ugh. So anyway, so then um, he gets up with his friend and they end up leaving because they were just like in the living room playing Grand Theft Auto. So I went to go sit by them, but I was still on my phone because nobody was fucking talking to me. So he gets up and they go into like their the porch of their apartment and then just like close the door. Well, not their apartment, Miles' apartment. I don't know why Joe is here. So he we they go into the apartment and or they go into the to the patio and they close the door and they were just there for a while. So now I'm like texting my girls and I'm like I kind of just want to leave. Like I think he was serious about like trying to like book my flight back. And at this point, I just felt like really uncomfortable and like I wanted to go. So I text Miles and I was just like, hey, like, if you really want me to go, like, I don't want to make y'all feel awkward. Like, I that, that that's the last thing I want to do. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable in your own place. But I mean, I really can't. At this point, I felt like I was just there. Like, they had to deal with me. Or like, I made them feel like, oh, that feeling was so gross. You know what I mean? So I was just like... And he goes, like, okay, what's your flight and whatever. And so we start booking the flight. And I was like, okay, like it's on go. Like I'm, I'm leaving. And at this point, like 
to make me feel like that like I'm never gonna talk to this dude again like not only did I not have the same feelings from you from the jump and I thought we could just like you know like kind of like maybe he's at the bottom of the totem pole I thought he could work his way back up to the top you brought yourself down like 12 notches like now I really don't like I'm like okay I have hope that him and I can like maybe work things out because honestly like my comfort's with him but my love is not so I just felt like, you know, like maybe like we can like rebuild on something. Clearly we did not. Like clearly this thing only took not even a full 24 hours for it to just like take a huge turn over a joke. And then I, so I don't know, dude. So then his friend comes back inside and I'm texting him. Mind you, none of them, I'm still by myself in the apartment. Like it was so awkward. So I walk outside and at this point like I felt uncomfortable so like it was like I was kind of at the point where like I didn't want his friends like I, I don't know his friend like I didn't want Joe to like see like if I were to talk to Joe then you know when your voice is like kind of cracking I would have like you know like I don't want him to see that like you know like I'm I'm upset or like I'm hurt like that's embarrassing to me. I didn't ask you know I thought like being flown out would be like a good time or whatever. That's what I'm looking for, a good time. But, like, all of a sudden, if I joke, all of a sudden now I have to be embarrassed in front of, like, all of, like, your friends. Like, I don't know anyone there. I would never do something like that to a person if they came to, like, my city. That's so wrong. But, like, I don't know. I feel like you could have just left me alone and, like, quit. <laughs> I don't know, dude. So I walk outside to go see Miles, and I'm like... Like, okay, so you're gonna buy my ticket. Like, do you mind just like giving me cash for it, blah, 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 so I can just hurry up and buy it. He already had the cash waiting for me. I was like, here you go. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> so then he was just like, um, so then I started talking. Like he, he, it looked like he just wanted me to leave. Like it was such a ugh, disgusting feeling. And so I was just like, so I tried talking to him and I was just like, I mean, like, it was a joke. Like, I didn't, like, there was nobody that was, like, really calling me. Like, I don't have a kid or anything like that. Like, I was just doing the same joke that you did. He was like, nah, you tried me. You did this. You, you did blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I didn't, though. Like, what the fuck? And I was like, you really have a kid? He was like, yeah, but it's none of your business. Like, if I have a kid, is that going to mean something to you? I was like, yes. Like, I didn't say that. But I'm like, in my head, I'm like, yes. Like, if he would have told me from the past that we had, and he would have told me that he had a kid, I would not have come, came. Like, there's no part of me that would have been like, I'm still gonna go on this trip. Like, he was like, are you not okay with that? Like, how am I supposed to be? That's your first love, dude. That is your first love. So how are you just going to just be like, oh, damn, you got a kid? You got another girl pregnant? Oh, okay. Anyways, let's move on from that. No, dude, like, I'm sorry. Like, because at the end of the day, when, when you are in love with someone, you think, like, oh, okay, that should have been me. You know what I mean? I mean, it like, right now, I know, like, you know, things are going to happen because, like, I was in a complete other happy-ass relationship. You know what I mean? And this person treated me like a freaking queen. So when I get treated by this person by miles the way that he's treating me i'm not gonna tolerate that because i already know how people actually will treat me and i used to always go back to like miles like all the time because like you know like he was my first love so i was like there's no one else that i can like love like that but this other person that i was in a relationship with shows me completely different like if i get mad he does not let me stay mad he is like we'll get over it what do you want to eat Oh, okay, if he does something wrong, he's okay to apologize. I'm okay to apologize. The, the the expression is so mutual. My friend even made a comment saying, like, my friend Obama, she was like, I see you in this person. He was like, I see you. She was like, I see you and him. Like, y'all, every time y'all see each other, y'all just, like, are, like, attacking each other, blah, blah, blah. He, she was like, but you and Miles, I've never seen y'all kiss, like, ever. And it's just because he's not an emotional person, which is fine. That's not a bad thing, but I like I know kind of like what I want. And I'm willing to go back to someone that I have like comfort with 
and you know like make it work with them but I can't if like one you're not even expressing to me like what I know I'm capable of receiving from a person and on top of that all you're doing is like some grimy nasty rotten shit to me I was like okay cool so you do have like a baby and mind you this dude got mad at me because like I had a fake person pretend to call me and then told him it was a joke when before his baby mama called him on the phone before I even did this. This is the reason why I had someone like fake call me because he had his baby mama or his baby mama called him and he actually answered the phone in front of me and was like, yeah, she keeps calling. Like that's so, I don't, what the hell? Like one, I'm really, really trying not to believe you. But if this is true, your baby's mother is blowing up your phone in front of me. And I'm just supposed to be okay with that. I don't, like, I don't want to be here. Like, I didn't want to be on this trip if that was the case. I didn't expect all of this. Like, no. So, I told him, I'm like, you really have a kid? He was like, yes, I put that on everything. I have a baby. And I was like, that shit hurt. I'm not even going to lie. That shit really, really hurt. Finding out that the person you love so much had a baby by someone else. Whether y'all moved on or not, it's gonna hurt. So in my head, I was like, look, I'm not gonna waste time and continue like looking stupid in front of like his friends. Cause at this at this point, another one of his friends had came in to the apartment and like they were like laughing and stuff. And I'm over here like tears going down my eyes. And I'm like, okay, like this is so embarrassing. I was like, look, can you just tell me like, do you want me to leave like you did fly me out like do you want me to leave and he goes yes so <laughs> when he said that i honestly broke down i was like all right like one my time was wasted two i could have i didn't have to go through that you know what i mean like i didn't have to deal with that like i i wasn't checking for you ever you know what i mean i'm not asking you to come see me anymore i'm not asking never asked to go see you i'm not looking for flights to go see you blah, blah blah i never asked to be flown out you literally went out of your way to ask me just to send me back like that's so fucked up you could have saved so much money because it wasn't my money i mean i did lose a hundred dollars for one day which i feel like was a waste and you just wasted like my time that's not cool at all you know what I mean? Like, why would you, why? <laughs> why did you tell me to come? Like, like, honestly, I think, like, what does this dude even want from me? Like, did you just want me to come for, like, entertainment? Because that's what I feel like. I feel like I was in entertainment, and when the entertainment was over, all right, it's time for you to leave. Like, you can just leave on go. That's not, I'm sorry. That's not the type of person I am. That's not how I'm going to be treated. So I was like, you know what? give me cash I'm gonna book my ticket my flight it was like 3 p.m and I booked my flight for 8 p.m because I was like the only one that like I could actually make because I don't know how like the it's a big city so the airport is gonna be like a lot bigger and so I was just like whatever so then like I was in tears like imagine like someone telling you like you ask them do you want me to leave and they're like yes like <sighs> okay because honestly, I was like, okay, you disrespect me, you're done. Like, you're you're completely done. Because this was the third or fourth time that he had already disrespected me in the same month, in the same week, I want to say. So, in my head, I was just like, I've had it. Like, now, I've never thought that someone that I love, I could actually be close to hating. Like, honestly, you're disgusting to me. I would have never wished someone to do that or to go through that. That's embarrassing. And I walked back into the apartment now with two of his friends and they're like, you know, it's like awkward. Like obviously like they're trying not to look at me because you could definitely tell that I was like crying. And I packed my stuff up and I left. And so the worst part was when I ended up walking out of the apartment, for some reason my phone did not have service and I could not download the Uber app, a Lyft app. I could not get an app and it was cold outside. So I'm standing there with like my bag and my purse and I'm literally like, Fuck, dude, like, what do I do? Like, I am in a big city where I don't know 
anybody besides the people that are in there and I can't just go back into that apartment you know what I mean like he wanted me to leave I left like that that's humiliating actually and so I'm over here trying to like you know I'm crying at this point I'm like trying to get the uber app like I just want to go home like I don't care if I have to wait at the airport for like five hours or whatever like I just really just want to get somewhere where I know like okay I'm gonna be good you know what I mean so the uber app's not working I didn't press confirm to buy my ticket yet so at this point I still don't have a ticket and I am just confused like on what the hell is gonna happen like is there like a taxi number that I can call or something like this? Mind you, I don't want to spend money. <laughs> like, I don't. So this dude calls me and I'm like, honestly, it was like relief kind of, even though like he did what he did, it was still kind of like relief. So I was just like, oh, okay, like, hey, he was like, where are you at? So I'm thinking like, you know, he's going to tell me like, come back or at least like if worst case scenario, he's going to take me to the airport. That was a worst case scenario. He calls me and I'm like, I'm outside. Like, I don't know where I'm going, blah, blah, blah. Like, I can't get an Uber. I can't do this. Like, you know, like I, fuck, I needed help. And he goes, did you take my chain? I was like, what? Did you take my chain? Like a chain on a necklace, like a necklace chain. And if it's the chain that I'm thinking about, who wants that ugly ass chain? And what am I gonna do with it? So now for you to just like, think of me as someone that is, would just like take, I don't even, I don't even know if it was real or not. I don't even, what? So literally I'm like, what the hell? So I hang up on him. I'm like, I'm not doing this. Like, why would someone accuse me? You put me through all of that and then have the audacity to accuse me of stealing from you? In that position, I didn't know how I was gonna get home, dude. So I'm like, this dude is such a like a fucked up person. Like, what the fuck? I was like, no, I didn't take your chain. He was just like, so I hang up on him. He calls me back. I was like, what do you want? Like at this point, I was just like, bro, like I'm crying so hard because I'm like, this is this is messed up. He goes, did you take my chain? I was like, so at that point, I couldn't be like a the bad bitch that I wanted to be where I'm like, click, I'm not hanging up because at this point I, I needed a ride, you know what I mean? So I had to just like suck it up and be like, no, I did not take your chain. Like, why would you even think of me like that? Like, oh. so he was like, did you, I was like, no, I didn't take your chain. I was like, can you please just take me to the airport? I just, I just want to get home. Like, that's all I want to do. Like, I don't want to be in anyone's hair anymore. Just, I can't get the Uber app. Can you take me home? He was just like, yeah, I got you. I was like, okay, thank God. A few minutes pass by, and I see his friend walk around the corner, and his friend will call, will call Caleb. So Caleb walks around the corner, and I'm just like, honestly, I didn't put it past Miles because I was like, this dude is low down dirty, so I already know, like, you know, I could have expected he would send the friend. And he really, the friend that he sent, who, what are we calling him again? Caleb. So Caleb was telling me, like, yeah, he was going to send um, Joe to take you. But I offered to take you because I felt bad. And I was just like, like, damn. Honestly, Caleb was the sweetest person and made me feel so much better and like honestly like it was really 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 like I appreciate like you know like the comfort from him so he was like your flight's at eight and it's only like three so we ended up like we ended up going like to like this place and like I got to like kind of like pick like a I think we went to like some tea place or whatever and we got to sit outside and we kind of like you know we're just like talking a little bit and honestly, if it wasn't for Caleb, I don't know what the hell I would have done because like Caleb was just like, <sighs> I love, ow, I love Caleb. So basically that was pretty much it. I got home and the only person to check up on me was Caleb. He was just like, hey, like, are you good? Like just making sure like everything was okay. And honestly for that, I really appreciated that because yeah. And that was it. 
All right, y'all. So I honestly did not think that I was going to have to come on here and look crazy like how I look right now. I didn't think like I was going to have to add more to this video. However, I did just want to like clear up some stuff too. Like right now, like the way that this person, the person that actually like, you know, sent me back home is explaining it, is manipulating the entire situation and is lying lying it's kind of like like okay everything that i literally just went through i have to come today to find out that this dude is lying about everything he's over here telling people that apparently like i kept pushing coming over to the city i was not looking for this dude at all so just so that is completely clear i wasn't checking for this dude i wasn't looking for this dude i had no intentions of going he was like, oh, well, she wanted um, to come in December, and I said that was fine, and then she kept pushing that I come sooner. First of all, he had told me that I can't come in December and get a cheaper flight because he wanted me to come this weekend or last weekend. So I was trying to accommodate to him, not to myself, no. So he was trying to make it seem like I just kept pushing, like, oh my god, this is what I wanted. My head was on a complete different guy. Like, what? And on top of that, like, that's like the first lie. No one was pressed about going to the city. I had stuff to do. Lie number one. Lie number two. This dude is saying that he was trying to have a serious conversation with me by telling me, like, some serious stuff, which wasn't true. The, the the conversation of a child would have never came up if I didn't if we weren't in the grocery store and I didn't make a comment saying, Oh my god, you look like somebody's dad. Like you it's just so convenient that right after I make that comment, all of a sudden now all of your friends are trying to tell me how you have a kid. All of a sudden your baby mom is calling you. Whether you called her or told her to call you or you didn't tell her to call you, the fact that you still answer the phone to your baby mama that in front of me, like what the hell? Like, that wouldn't have happened if I had never made the comment. Like, it's so convenient that all of a sudden, right when right when I bring up a baby and your friend's over here telling me, bro, he's just playing with you, and we're all, like, talking in, like, a joking tone, now, all of a sudden, directly after, she wasn't calling you before, she wasn't calling you the day before, your baby mother is calling you? And on, on top of that, shouldn't I be the one? Because he's mad about a joke. He's over here telling people that I had a dude call me and talk about a kid. I don't have a kid. So clearly it was a joke. You actually do have a kid. And your baby mother answered or called you and you answered in front of me. What kind of shit? So on top of that, like, who's the real person that needs to be hurt? Who is actually her? So he's over here telling people I'm hurt because she had a dude call me. Or call her. It was a joke. Yours was not a joke. Like that makes make it make sense. Like I'm getting all this blame after being badly disrespected, and then I have to be lied on on top of that. No, like I honestly wasn't even gonna post this video to be honest. He tried telling people that like he didn't know that I bought a flight that I literally told him that I bought. So he tried to act. I had to tell people. Oh, like, I didn't know that she was buying a ticket. Like, I didn't even know that she was coming. Bro, you told me to come, and we were on the phone. The last thing that I wanted to clear up was he was over here trying to call me bougie and saying that it's such a turnoff, like, how I acted in front of him before I even went on the trip. Because I had made a comment saying, first of all, this dude wanted me to go on a, on a flight, right, the same day. The flight was in two hours. That's like someone to, that's like someone telling me, picking up the phone, hey Sid, come on this flight. It's in two hours. And I'm looking like this. Like you don't give me time. So I was looking at other flights. There was a flight. The flight that he wanted me to go on was at 305. The other flight was at 555. I was like, I'll just do the 555 one. Like I'll have like more time. He was like, no, can't you just Uber here? Or can't you just like park? Like it's only like $40, blah, blah, blah. Or like an Uber, it's $40 to the airport and, and back, right? Mind you, you have to get to the airport at least an hour and a half, like just to be on the safe side, an hour and a half in advance. Really, it should even be two hours, but where I am, it's like our airport's like really quick. So I had, like, when I told him, I was like, okay, I'm going to just buy the ticket. And he tried to act like he didn't, like, I didn't say that. I told this person that I was going to buy the ticket. And I bought the ticket. And he was like, you know what, don't come. And when he said that, it was because when he was like, why don't you just Uber? I said, ew. 
first of all, that's not being bougie. That's how I talk. I literally say the two things that I say, I say ew and that's ghetto. Like as a like playing around. How is it? I've I'm I lived in New York for how long? Okay, so that's just dumb. I rode the subway. The subway. I cherish Ubers. Okay, so there's nothing bougie about me. About me. This dude tried to say that I'm too good. I acted like I was too good to be in an Uber. I've been in Ubers nonstop. There's nothing wrong with being in an Uber. One, yes, if there was something disgusting, maybe it's I'm in a, I'm in a car with a person that could possibly have coronavirus driving me in their car and we are not six feet apart. Ew, that's disgusting, but that's not what I meant. What I meant when I said ew was I'm not being bougie because I'm, I'm obviously not too good to be in an Uber. I don't want to pay for an Uber. That is the opposite of bougie. That's kind of being broke. Like, the fact that I even have to, like, explain that to anybody. I'm not broke, first of all. <laughs> Let's get that clear. But just the fact that if I don't want to spend money because I'm launching a line very soon, you need to understand that. I'm not being bougie. I rode the nasty subways, been spit at by homeless people on the subways. You think I care about an Uber? You think I'm too good for an Uber? I just said, ew, like, ew, I don't want to buy that. There's nothing wrong with what I said. And I, I, I'm i not going to have someone say, she she thinks she's too good, she's too bougie. <laughs> bye, bye. I, no, I don't. Trust me. I rode the subway where there's rats the size of cats. Give me a break. Being in an Uber, picking up a car is just second hands but i'm not gonna do that because ubers are expensive when i have the option to do something else no one is oh i'm too good for this i, I that's not me i'm bougie okay i am bougie and i won't deny it okay look at my apartment and it's only gonna be more diamondy and glittery after this but i'm shoot i wish someone would slap me if i acted like I'm too good for this. I'm too. That's not me. Someone that actually knows me and knows Sid knows. Oh, Sid is not gonna act like she's too good for this. She's too good. If you think that that's how it is, then maybe that's how you view me. Then that's your own problem, not mine. I was not even going to make this video, dude. I made it. This is the second time that I actually made it and I was not going to post it because I was like, he's not with my time. Like, I, I'm honestly over the situation. But then I hear that you're lying about me. Like, what the hell? He's the type of person that's probably going to go back and tell people, oh, I don't talk to this girl anymore because she had a dude call me in front of her. Did you also forget to tell them that it's a joke? That I was joking? That I had my cousins and everyone call me? Uh, or pretend, uh, text me pretending to be my boyfriend when your baby mama actually called you and it was actually a real situation in front of me and you answered. But yeah, that's about, that's it. Like, honestly, like, I'm so, like, because I'm already, like, like, disgusted that, that this even happened. Like, I wouldn't wish it on nobody. And what's even more crazy is that Miles is really trying to say that him and the female that is his baby's mother, um, they haven't been good for like two, three days, or they haven't been talking for two, three days, which is very recent. So that means that right before you thought about flying me out, you and her were still talking like, whoa, I'm not going to involve myself. Like I will respectfully decline that entire, I don't do baby mamas. You at one point were my dude, and now you're not because obviously you have a baby's mother now. Um, no, that's like me, my ex boyfriend calling me, and I go to this big city that you know Miles flew me out to, and I actually answer the phone to my actual, you know, ex boyfriend. I mean, like that, it's not something that just, especially a female, or not even just a female, no one's gonna be okay with that. You, he wasn't okay with a joke about someone that's like a cousin to me calling me. Now, what if it was my actual ex? If I had a baby with my ex, which, hmm, there's some history to that, but I'm not going to get into that. If I were to actually have a kid with him, then, and he's calling me, and I answer in, in front of you, 
and the situation is true, then what? Because that's exactly what Miles did to me. You were just messing or y'all, you said you weren't good with the baby's mother for like two to three days. I'm not in y'all's, I'm not in that mess. I'm not going to involve myself. I will exit myself. Like, no, you, you handle with your female. That's gross. Or my passwords. Ew. That's all I'm going to say for this video. I was going to say some like mean ass shit. Like the, I had, this is the second time I filmed this video because the first time I filmed it, whew, because for me personally, like that whole situation just made it like, it just made me view this person completely like different. I don't see them as like an individual that I can trust. You know what I mean? And when I say that, I mean like I can't trust this person because like, I don't know. I can't trust you with my emotions. Miles does not know how to treat a female. I'm sorry. And I won't ever be treated like that by anybody. I've never received an apology from him. Ever. And I, I don't think I ever will. Like, I'll probably never receive an apology. And he'll never receive, like, for the first time, I've never blocked this dude. And me, I don't block people like that. If I block you, it means I don't respect you. I don't like you. I don't trust you. The amount of people blocked on my phone, I would say, like, I blocked, like, one guy, and he called me on private, and, like, I knew it was him. He was like, you blocked me? I was like, yes, I did. He was like, oh, you did? Well, unblock me and get the F over it and come to come to the Pearl. The Pearl's, like, the spot that, like, is, like, cool in, like, my state. And I was just like, okay. It doesn't have to be a huge situation. Like, it's like... I get mad, don't take me serious, you know what I mean? I like someone that's not gonna take me serious and be like, Sid, get over it. Get over it, like, let's go. Come on, keep it moving, keep it pushing. You know what I mean? I don't want to be stuck in like such a negative energy. And yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys um, never have to go through an experience like that because it really did suck. Um, it was embarrassing, it was humiliating, it was terrible, it was sad, it was, I just, no, I don't wish that upon anyone. But if you guys want more story time videos, let me know. Make sure you guys comment down below. I ripped my pillow. Make sure that you guys comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Also like this video. And, I, and follow me on Instagram. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.